Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. Under the patronage of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, an exhibition was launched today under the theme Together for Security Awareness. In the presence of the Minister of Education, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, the Minister of Youth and Sports, ambassadors and senior officials from the Ministry of Interior. The exhibition showcases the achievement of a program titled Together to Combat Violence and Addiction, which marks the exerted efforts to enhance society partnership as well as protecting individuals from violence. The capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he highlighted the achievements of the program and pointed out that more than 120 students are benefiting from this program and added that the program covers more than 173 schools this year compared to 121 schools last year and that the program targeted mostly public schools with an 81%. The event also included a short film that showcased the achievements of the Together program and also highlighted the efforts of the Kingdom's ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, who established the program and managed it for six years. The Interior Minister then honored the outstanding officers and the sponsors of the program and expressed appreciation to the Capital Governor, who is the chairman of the Together program committee, for his role in developing the program. He praised the contributions of the trainers for achieving the goals of the program and increasing awareness as well as providing a safe environment. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Education for supporting the program and pointed out that the cooperation with the concerned bodies was the reason for the success of the program. He expressed hope that the program will be circulated across the GCC countries and affirmed his keenness to explain the Bahraini experience to the GCC interior ministers so they can adopt it and benefit from it. The minister then inaugurated the Together for Security Awareness exhibition and he toured it with the guests, which included four sections, electronic safety and safety in swimming pools, the safe use of school buses and the dangers of digital games and protection guidelines. The Minister of Foreign Affairs conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, and their wishes for him of abundant health for the Jordanian people, further progress and prosperity. This came during a meeting between King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein and the Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kuwait, Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the United Arab Emirates, the Arab Republic of Egypt, and the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, participating in the consultative meeting to be held tomorrow in the Dead Sea area of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. King Abdullah the second expressed his sincere greetings and appreciation to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and wished the consultative meeting a successful outcome in supporting the joint Arab action. For his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed his appreciation for the efforts of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan in supporting the peace and security in the region and hosting the consultative meeting as part of its efforts to reinforce joint Arab action to serve Arab and Islamic issues. The Foreign Affairs Minister arrived in Amman today, where he was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, Ayman Safadi, and the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Amman, Ahmed Yusuf Arwe'i. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Jordan's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ayman Safadi, UAE's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, and Saudi Arabia's Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Adil Jaber, Kuwait's Foreign Minister, Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah, and Egypt's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Samah Shukri, participated in a consultative meeting which concluded today at the King Hussein bin Talal Convention Center in Jordan. The ministers exchanged points of view regarding the regional developments and discussed means of achieving achieving security and stability to serve Arab interests. Jordan's foreign ministry spokesman, uh, Sofiane Quda, noted that the meeting was positive and provided a wide dialogue platform with an open agenda on regional developments and common challenges to enhance cooperation and coordination to serve Arab interests.
The Islamic Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization, ISESCO, announced that Bahrain won the ISESCO Award in 2018 for the initiative My Digital Library for its outstanding editing, designing and directing as well as its educational content that will benefit students. On this occasion, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and said that this achievement is thanks to the directives and support of His Majesty the King to enhance digital methods in the field of education. He also praised the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa that contributed in making a number of achievements on the educational level. He pointed out that launching His Majesty's project of future schools and then moving to digital education contributed to a number of accomplishments and innovations in the education field. The minister added that the My Digital Library initiative aims to increase productivity in schools by introducing digital empowerment that will help in enhancing educational services. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to increase cooperation and coordination between the executive and legislative authorities, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza requested a meeting with the uh, Deputy Head of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee Ahmed Al Amr and its members. The Minister presented the achievements of Bahrain in renewable energy, energy efficiency and the projects implemented in this field. He also presented the progress made with the leadership and government's encouragement regarding the use of clean energy to achieve sustainable energy and a green environment. Mirza noted that it is important to update the legislative authority on information and project plans in the field of renewable energy. The Financial and Economic Affairs Committee and its members praised the initiative of the minister and officials in the field of electricity, water and renewable energy in improving the quality of services, affirming that promoting communication between the legislative and executive authorities will achieve aspired developments. They expressed joy in the achievements in the renewable energy field, including comprehensive sustainable developments for future generations. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, lauded the wise vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to promote tolerance, peaceful coexistence that positioned Bahrain on the world's map of religious freedom. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa was speaking at a meeting in Washington with members of the U.S. Mission on International Religious Freedom attended by This is Bahrain Society. A detailed review was presented on Bahrain's religious and cultural diversity and harmony throughout the centuries that enabled the kingdom to extend bridges of friendship to all nations and people. The attendees reaffirmed that all religions call for love, mercy and honesty and condemn at the same time hatred violence and killing, asserting the importance of bringing together the common principles upon which all religions are based. They also hailed Bahrain's pioneering model in the region and the world in the coexistence of religions and civilization on its lands. The meeting comes as part of a comprehensive program of gatherings and visits by King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence with This is Bahrain Society in the American capital. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa and Mrs. Betsy Matthew Matheson expressed their thanks and appreciation to the Ambassador of Bahrain uh, to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, for coordinating and organizing such meetings and visits with the various American NGOs and uh, concerned academic institutions. Conversations around the table were substantive. You know, it's it's not like guests coming in and coming out and everyone meeting each other for the first time. Like these are relationships that have grown over time. The discussions have deepened. Unlike many meetings where you're talking about the same thing you've been talking about ten years ago or five years ago or you know sometimes thirty years ago, there are always new things. There's always new progress. There are always new opportunities. And so that this uh, I, I would say it was a substantive uh, meeting. Bahrain has been leading in this area for not decades, but centuries. And, you know, like usual, I mean, we had a really extraordinary conversation all together talking about what's unique about this wonderful country and what the world needs to know about it and how the world can learn from it. And so, you know, I continue to believe it's a, it's a blinking beacon of light in a world that has too much darkness. One of the most wonderful things about serving on this commission is the opportunity to not only visit other countries, but have countries come here. So the fact that this contingency from Bahrain came into Washington to meet with us and to share with us the wonderful things that are going on, but also some of the challenges. And it allows us as the commissioners to understand better and to share our stories. And what we find is that the world 
is getting smaller every day and that we share so much more in common than we share differences. At the end of the day, it is about building relationships, having a better understanding, increasing our awareness and education. And so today I feel was a great learning experience for me and what an honor to be a part of this luncheon.